Good evening. This evening I want to go ahead and cover the INF 3707 2022 assignment 3 question 1.1 and it's basically how to create the table toys toy creator creator using the Oracle Apex system. Okay. Um, this is the code that's going to be used to create the table. You'll notice that um, it starts off with create table, which is obvious. Then it has the table name, okay? And then inside of the inverted brackets, we have the columns, okay? So these are all the columns. So the first column is toy ID. The next one is name. The next one is date. Um, the next one is cost, the next one's retail, the next one's discount, the next one's category. And you can see what happens is it uses a data type for each column. So we've got a, a data type of number. And um, on the UNISA um, assignment, it said that we want this column restricted to 10 characters. Okay. Then the same with the name, it's got a, um, a bar char of 2 data type and they wanted it restricted to 30. And then the reason why this date is in commas over here, in inverted commas, is because date is actually a um, set name in uh, Oracle. And so I didn't even know that you could uh, still conf use date um, but this is the way you would need to use it if you're going to define date um, in the in the database, okay? Um, and so it's of a data type called date. And then um, in case the person doesn't pass any variables, what you can do is you can uh, tell it to please use the default system date, which is called default sysdate, okay? So the cost column is a number data type and inside there they want to use the 5,2 which means it's got two decimal places. Okay, And the same with the retail, it's also a number data type and we've got um, 5 and then uh, two decimal places. Then we've got discount which is a number and they want it 4 and two decimal places. And then category uh, is a bar char 2, and that's got 12 characters in it, okay, data top. So now the method that the, this book uh, talks about is that you've got to create the table, and then you've got to add constraints. And so how we create constraints is um, we use the table name, and then the underscore, and then the column ID, and then we define if it's a primary key or a foreign key, okay? And in this case, we're using a primary key. So we use PK as an abbreviation for it. And then you've also got the word primary key, and you specify the column that's the primary key. So in this case, toy ID is going to be the primary key. All right. And so if you need any further information, you can refer to page 122 of the prescribed textbook. That's where you'll get how they want you to create it. Okay, so this is for um, toys. Um, this is for creator. The exact same um, system applies. Create table. Uh, give it a table name, which is creator. Then you've got your creator ID, and they've got a, a data type of number, and the restriction is four characters. Then you've got L name, which is last name. Uh, var char 2 data type and it's restricted to 10 characters and then this is f name which is first name uh, var char 2 data type and restricted to 10 characters and the constraint is on the creator um, table it's on the creator id column and this is a primary key and we're specifying that it's a primary key on the creator id okay the next one is toy creator and the reason I use this last is because it makes reference to both um, toy ID and creator ID and so it won't allow you to create this table 
until these other two tables are created. Okay. Um, I'm going to try out the not null um, option. Uh, I didn't use it on any of the other tables, and I never used it when I originally went through my exercises. Um, obviously, here we've got a, a foreign key type. So I've got constraint, and I've, I've called it on the toy creator, because it's a toy creator um, table. And then I'm referencing the toy ID, and I'm saying it's a foreign key, okay? And there you're specifying foreign key, and you're specifying toy ID, okay? And then it references toys, toy ID. So this is making reference to the table, toys, toy ID. So it's linking these two together through the reference, okay? And uh, it's a foreign key, okay? Um, the same with this one, it's got a constraint, we've got it from the toy creator, the creator ID over here, and then it's a foreign key, and, it's a, and as we say it's a foreign key uh, on the creator ID column, and we're referencing the primary column from the creator table, creator ID, and that's how these, the information will be created for this table. Okay, so that's the end of that slideshow. Um, I'm going to now take you over to my SQL instance. So here I've got um, the URL that I use to get to my Apex. I'll put it in the description below. Okay, I've created a, um, a workspace already. I clicked on this request workspace and pulled out my details and I got it. There is another video I've created last year about how to create this. I'm using my email address and my password. So I just click on sign in over here. Okay, if I go to the top over here by SQL Workshop, you see there's a couple of options here if I click the drop down. So if I go to Object Browser, I just want to show you that you can see there's no table created for the creator toys or the toy creator here okay and so what you can do is you can either run it from sql commands or you can run it from sql scripts now originally i was running it from the sql scripts and the problem that i had is i'm not seeing the results live it just tells you that um, it's a result that it's created so i'm gonna i'm just gonna copy my script from here and then I'm going to move over to the SQL commands so that you can see everything that's going. What I like about the SQL commands is it's showing it over here and then the results will show over here. So I've mentioned to you exactly what is happening. And uh, as I say, I like the way that it's color coded now um, so you can see what's going on. Um, if you want to, you can even save this and you can give it a name. And so I'm just going to call this um, create uh, table toys. All right, and then you can fill in a description. Um, yeah, creating table toys. Click on save. So that just saves, and you can see here it's saving all my um, my SQL queries. So that I've already got them here and I don't have to regenerate them. Okay. So I'm clicking on results or run. And you can see there table is created. Okay. And now if I wanted to see what's uh, what this table looks like, um, the command that you run is normally describe and we say toys. And we remember our semicolon. We click on run and there we go now you get to see the results you can see the sys date the date is seven decisions ten primary keys one um, so it's got everything that I asked it to set and as you can see precision is five and two um, yeah and it's not a restricted to a certain length but the the other two are restricted to length. Um, yeah, so that was that one. 
the next one I'm going to do is I want to run the create um, creator okay so I'm just going to go to my script here I'll just show you uh, for example on this one uh, just so you can see what the difference is but um, as you can see create table creator if I just click on run over here <coughs> It asks me, do I want to run? I say yes, I want to run now. And this is what it gives me. So it says one statement processed, one successful, and one with errors. Okay. Um, and it, uh, it doesn't really show me enough results. So that's why I like to use the, the other one, the SQL commands. Because um, you can just take your script out from here and you can say describe and say creator. And let's put semicolon, go run. And there you can see my um, creator is, is done. So the next one that I want to do is the um, toy creator. So let's go ahead back to my scripts. I'm going to toy creator. I'm going to edit. And then I want to copy this. I want to go to commands and pasting it in here. Okay, I'm going to save it. Um, create table toy creator. Save, <clears throat> click on run. I'm done with that one. And as I say, describe toy creator. There we go. I've got my two toy creators. All right. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's been helpful and informative and that it will just help you progress through to the next questions. But I will try and do some more recordings like this. Thank you and good luck. Goodbye.